Hello everybody, it's Australia. We're now in the emergence cave and let's see what there is here. Intriguing, my heat sensors are indicate that this hall's interior is warmer than on the surface. Analysis suggests danger lurks ahead, but the promise of treasure is tantalizing. There is no danger. There is like what? Six snowball warps, which are basically dwarf versions of a easier version of a ball board, meaning the outside was more dangerous than here. And contained less treasures. I am not just a ship, I am an all-purpose support pod. Now this game, oh, this game randomizes the playthroughs. That's right, the objects, the objects here are randomly generated, randomly generated, randomly generated. And I have proof on my previous playthrough, which I'll put, which I, and which I scrapped because the mic quality was horrid. So I got out and bought a new mic. You can see here that this was the layout, but now here, this is the layout. Oh! <laughs> oh great! A treasure got interrupted and I come back. The citrus lump, that's right. The same citrus lump in the one in, you know, Pikmin 3 Deluxe. Now that's treasure and that is a beast. Now the ship is not a fan of Mr. Beast! So I wonder what happens if we give it a beast. And another hole. The way you do recall. Yes, ship, I know how to play. Your expression suggests that you do. Yes, because you've told me a billion times. Don't worry, all your Pikmin will follow you. That's right, no matter where you are in a cave, every Pikmin will come into it. Even if I decide to enter it right now, which is not what I'm gonna do because I haven't clicked every treasure. Let's see what, anyway, let's see what the ship says when we see him. Mr. Beast! How can you possibly think, consider this Mr. Beast a treasure? Mr. Beast! Are, inca are incompatible with my circuitry, I suppose. I will store your finds in my hold. But I do not think Mr. Beast will be worth much. Oh, Mr. Beast is worth a lot, don't you know? Get up with the times. The quenching album, which sounds like the vantage. The quenching emblem, which sounds like the vantage emblem, which is some Pikmin YouTuber. And no offense, but. The voice of the person at Vantage Emblem sounds like a text-to-speech robot. The first time I saw the video, I actually thought you were using text-to-speech. No, that is your natural voice, I think. You sound like a text-to-speech robot. Take that as an insult, please. Because it surely is one. Let's disband our Pikmin, because we do not like them. GET IN THE HOLE! In the hole! Sub level 2 of the emergence cave. More like, heh, emerging chant. Yep, it says level and not floor. I am using the PAL version because, well, that's the one we have here. <laughs> Get these beasts here. And oh look, a treasure! Measure the treasure! <laughs> it's inconceivable that such an immense object can be burned here for so long! The design of the outer shell resembles the planet, the surface of the planet, seen in from space. That's right, the Pikmin planet is Earth. And if you look at the globe, the USSR is still there, but not. But East and West Germany have done the reunification. Therefore, this globe was made in the time when this was accurate. Perhaps this can be used for something other than salvage. But how will we lift it? I fear that even a hundred red Pikmin will be unable to lift it. Well, I guess I'll make them troopers. <laughs> this, the game of designers were jerks because it takes a hundred and one and there can only be a hundred Pikmin on the field. How are we ever gonna lift it? 
Well, I'll show you. Let, let's leave that guy to spare. Spare. Just like in uh, Undertale, isn't that the name of the game? I know, the name of this game is Pikmin. Two, to be precise. It's better than Pikmin One. Oh no, avoid! We do not like him! He is French! I guess we gotta kill him! <sighs> well, there goes my example. I was gonna show you. Because... Whoa! What is this? Something! A flower blooms in a cave deep beneath the snowy landscape. Clearly, it is warmer down here than above. Oh, the Pikmin are restless. They look like as if they yearn to be thrown into the flower. I just love those cutscenes. That's actually my favorite cutscene. Actually, I like every cutscene because they're so cute. Except a maiden, a purple pigment, and has hair. <laughs> and is quite stocky. It seems very heavy and strong. This kind of pigment was not mentioned in your report. Alomar, it must be an entirely new type. Transforming pigment by throwing them into flowers. Intriguing, perhaps there are other, intriguing, intriguing, intriguing. Perhaps there are others. I mean, it's all like candy pop buzzer in the first game. Oh wait, they were. Anyway, let's pluck some of my little picks. My little picks. <laughs> Now, down by the purple pigment. They are slow. Just look at them. Just look at this. Look at how far behind those purple pigment are. Sorry, the purple pigment. You see this? Red pigment. Despite it being a trooper, it can only carry one at a time. But the purple pigment are worth. And wait, I want there to be exactly 101 carrying it. It will be the destined single trooper. See, I don't want that because that will take an eternity. Look how slow they are. If there are 101 Pikmin carrying this, they would be way faster than this. But there isn't. It's so slow. Just, what a troop. He's leading the whole group. Troop that's leading the group. The troop that's leading the group. It is such a troop. Let's get Olimar to leave. Because he wants to play Pikmin 3. I couldn't rhyme that. Raymond! Spherical Atlas. There is a device resembling a microchip embedded inside this sphere, retrieving data. So it took the COVID vaccine? Ugh, what an idiot. Joking. Era, I can only decode a portion of the data, but I did retrieve new geographic charts. Oh, really? What a skill issue. I will import this data into my planetary database and name it the Sphere Chart! Press plus to contact me and go to the exploration kit. On the radar screen by pressing left on D-pad. 
I'm Deep End Gamer. Now that we have this new data, you should explore the, the Akata territory tomorrow. I mean, it's not like we have any choice. The game's gonna force us to do it because this is actually a heavy linear game. Is all Pikmin 3 was linear? No, this is game is very linear. Oh yeah, that's a joke. I'm preparing my vocal cords for this. Water is shooting out of this geyser with incredible force. Sensors indicate that it has enough power to launch you into the air. Approach it and press A to try. That's my cat. Zero deaths. Cave complete. Now, we've got the Spirit Atlas, Citrus Lump, Quenching Emblem, and 22 Pogos from dead enemies. Now, if you wait two minutes, you're gonna hear a secret tune in this cave. But I'm not gonna wait two minutes. Search it up on the interwebs if you wanna hear it. Astounding, am I right? No, we just beat the cave, so why don't we save? <laughs> I mean, it's not like we have a choice. You have to save either way. Valley of Repose! You have successfully returned to the planet's surface. Excellent decision making, gentlemen. Gentle minions, gentle pikmins. We must celebrate the success of your spelunking expedition. You've gathered a large amount of data that needs in-depth analysis. I shall send a report back to the president and tonight detailing your progress. Oh, Cassie ended just to start another one? Oh, great game design. Come on, Luis, since you are to explore a new area tomorrow, today's work is done. What? You still want to work? Unacceptable! You may not realize it, but you are exhausted. My mom, every time she wants me to go to bed. You should take a much needed rest as you have all the time you need to collect treasure. That's right, there's no day limit. The uh, guest fans are complaining on the 30 day limit of Pikmin 1. Well, guess what? None. Hey, Space Way, so take it slow and steady. Yeah, no. Time for this game is 20 days. I'm gonna beat that. That's right, the purple pigment, the purple pigment go inside the rocket. Isn't that cool? Now this time, I'm going to get the blast off correct. Five, four, three, two, one, zero, blast off! Darn it! I swear, one day I'm gonna get it on time. One day I'm gonna get it on time. One day, one day I'm gonna get it on time. Today's report. Funds earned. Spare Wireless, Utter Scrap. Speaking with a funds earned. Spare Wireless, Utter Scrap, Scissor Slug, Quenching Emblem, and 22 Pogos from enemy corpses. Yay! Pikmin! We got, what, 42 more Pikmin today. But unfortunately, we lost two Pikmin to battle. You two Red Leaf Pikmin will always be remembered in our hearts. Actually, nah. Baby says first, only ma. Can't work. No, that's not the voice. Everybody is so good, don't worry. Baby says first, only ma. Can't worry, don't worry about me. I'll do this with 